Hello everyone, welcome back to the first new video in about two months now. I think the last video was, was it the Top Gun HMV edition? Or oh, maybe it's the Lighthouse, it was around that time in June. But uh, back now, got very, very exciting piece of mail today. Uh, possibly, this could possibly be the best thing I'll have in my collection. So let's just get straight into it and have a look. Very nicely bubble wrapped, a lot of... Uh, play with and pop later on if I get bored. Got plenty. And it is the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Mandalab one click set. Now this is the thing of beauty. So I'll just take this little card off the front. Uh, Guessing it's Korean right now. I think it's Korea these come from. So then on the front of the box, lovely, lovely artwork. So Sharon, Rick, Cliff, Charles, Manson, uh, Bruce Lee, some of the Manson cult followers, plenty on there. And then the, the spines, just the logo, but the white for Hollywood's being changed to a nice purple colour. On the back, we've got Brandy. And then the tops just the same. And I also feel like part of the exciting the excitement of these box sets is finding out what collector's number you've got. So I've got number 157 out of 400. Uh, yeah, just the normal stuff on the bottom. So let's just get straight into this. This is a water of a set. If I can actually Get into it. Oh wow. I don't know how to describe like the material on it, but it's like it's kind of like mass around the outside and can you hear the material? That's that's how you do it, you hear the material. So let's just crack it open, see what we've got inside. So it's just uh, plain white on the inside part of the box. So our first, oh, it's the double lenticular. It's even in a nice uh, like resealable sleeve to keep it in. So we've got written cliffs down outside the Cadillac on the front. I think it's a Cadillac. I don't really know my cars that well. And then on the back, we've got Sharon outside the cinema. Let's have a look inside of this one. Even get a little Manta Lab exclusive card. Oh, and it's sealed as well. Always very well wrapped, these premium editions, which is very rightly so. I'd hate to say if Xavi ever released them. Be nothing left on them. So what we've got, oh, the steel book inside sealed as well. So there's the steel book, which is the poster art, which I really, really like. Uh, the spine, which I think's the same as the normal worldwide steel book. Uh, not 100% sure on that. And that's just like usually on the bottom part of the poster. A good backdrop for this video would have been the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood standee that was always creeping in the background in my other videos. And then inside we've got an envelope with Once Upon a Time in Hollywood written on it. So let's have a little look what we've got in here. Oh wow, whoa, 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 right. So we've got Operation Dinomate. Kill me quick, Ringo, said the gringo. Nebraska. Jim, of course, absolutely love the little reference there. If you know what Sergio Cabucci's Nebraska Jim's a good reference to, drop it in the comments. I'd like to see other people who have caught up on that one. And I can't remember which poster that is, but it's still cool. Right, and then we've got a little character card, so we've got 
Rick. Put that in front of my face now. Do I look like Rick Dalton? Wouldn't deny that I do. Cliff. Johnny. Sharon. Pussycat. Randy. And, oh, got two more. Marvin Schwartz. And Scott. Nice little Luke Perry card there. Right. So we'll get all these nicely back into the envelope. I'll put them at the side for now and I'll pop them back in after. The disc, which is the same kind of film tin style artwork that was on the regular Blu-ray and 4K. And Ritten Cliff sitting inside the bar from the start of the film. But that's not all. We've also got a art. Is it an art booklet? Oh, so it's a photo book. So Ritten Cliff. Uh, what else have we got? Cliff in the car. Another Ritten Cliff. Break on the Hubba Baloo show, singing the Green Doll. Driving through the streets of Hollywood. From the Playboy Mansion party. I just love Tarantino's little poses when he does. He, I, I, I just, ah, oh, that is a brilliant picture. I just love it. I kind of want that for my wall. Posing like he looks like Leo or Brad. <laughs> the iconic bit of Cliff fighting Bruce Lee and beating the hoo haws out of him. Cliff at Spawn Ranch. Rick's FBI episode. Meeting Marvin. Don't cry in front of the Mexicans. One of the funniest lines in the film. Rick and Francesca. Right, so that is the double lenticular. So which other editions have we got in this big box set? Because I know there's three, but I can't remember exactly which one had which. Right, so then, oh, I love this one. The single lenticular. Rick dancing. Cliff looking cool as ever on the back. So I'm guessing the inside contents are going to be the same on the site that were with my Joker one click and um, Reservoir Dogs one click. So yeah, he has a closer look without the seal. A green door. What's that secret you're keeping? Ah. Right, and here it is without the seal on. Uh, yes, the inside content is the same, same steel book, same, is it? Yeah, it's the same photo book as before, so we'll just leave this one sealed, the steel book that's sealed up for now, because it's going to be exactly the same. And the third and final editions, the full slip with amazing artwork on it. Love that of Rick and Cliff. Like, probably a pop art style. And then, 
Well, yeah, I don't even need to unseal this one because it's going to be exactly the same again inside, but another look at it. And that is the Once Upon a Time in Hollywood Mantelab one click. Uh, I did prefer this one to the Cine Museum one because uh, that was just kind of, I think it was like around, the, it was a very similar price, but you only got two editions with it. But I absolutely love this. This is quite possibly my favourite thing in the whole of my collection. And that's not all for today. We're going to have Flash Gordon 40th anniversary set later on, hopefully, providing that it's in good condition when I um, pick it up. And yeah, what else have we got coming up? Oh, we've got clothing and shoes reviews. That's probably going to sound very, very weird for this channel, but you'll see exactly why, because it is film and TV themed. Uh, if you've been keeping up with Vans over the last couple of weeks, you'll know they've started doing the Simpsons range. So picked up a few things from there so we'll have a little look at them because it is a film and tv channel so thank you very much for watching again do you like once upon a time in hollywood of course you do unless you don't see you in the next video